From Iron to Grandmaster, everyone has a fatal flaw that stops them from moving forward and improving. Some of these flaws can easily be generalized for each rank and can even be fixed with dedication. What's going on summoners, my name is Nathan Ng and today we'll be taking a look at the biggest mistakes in every elo. During your rank's journey, you have likely encountered these mistakes and have worked to fix them for yourself. If you're feeling a little bit stuck, this may be what you need to focus on to continue your grind. Whether you're here for information, fun, or a little bit of both, stay tuned so you can keep improving. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we'll be diving into the common mistake in Iron. Iron is the lowest rank in the game. We've seen that the biggest mistake for this rank is that players don't invest themselves into the game. Now we're not saying that you need to make League of Legends your livelihood in order to climb, but you should have a little bit of dedication. Being in Iron is evident of a few things. You're playing the game at the bare minimum and aren't investing the time and energy to improve, which honestly I respect. If you take a bit of effort to play the game more and play it with purpose, you'll slowly grasp the basics of the game. With time, you can easily climb out of iron as you grow your understanding of how everything works. You'll slowly begin to understand the basics of MOBAs and how to move your character around. Anyone can climb out of iron as long as they put in the time to actually learn the game even just a little bit. This rank is the lowest simply because it's usually filled with people that play purely for fun, don't have time to play often, or they lack the dexterity paired with these other reasons. Overall, if you're in iron and you truly want to climb out, the easiest solution is to play the game more and play with purpose. Before we continue with our next big mistake, we want to remind you all to check out ProGuides.com. With our new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new course and bootcamp content. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry. We have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. As a member, you'll even get a 10% coaching discount. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the ProGuides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video, we'll be diving into bronze. The most common and biggest mistake in this elo is failing to understand the basics of the game. While this may seem similar to Iron, Bronze is beyond time investment and understanding the very basics of a MOBA. In Bronze, you now know how to pilot a champion, the objectives of the game, and how to purchase your items. The next step in this rank is to put time into developing your fundamentals. You're going to want to put the time into learning why things work the way they do. While it may be difficult to fully grasp an in-depth understanding of the complex game functions and mechanics, you can easily learn the basics of them. You're going to want to understand why items are so powerful, why your champion has played where it is, and how objectives impact the map, etc. There's a huge list of things that you can learn, but the important part is just knowing the entry level of them. You don't really have to completely dive into high-ranking macro mechanics, but understand and learn the basics of why you take turrets around the map. Overall in Bronze, your main goal is to learn as much about the game as you can so you can truly begin your ranked journey. Moving on to Silver, we've got not knowing your purpose and role. After grasping the basics of the game, a lot of Silver players get lost on what they should focus on. You have to see them trying too hard to perfect their fast ribbon combo and attempt to pull off macro rotations that are seen in Challenger. Before you can even try to implement these concepts into your gameplay, it's important to start with what your purpose is within the game. Every role and every champion offers a different strategy to play around that can benefit your team. As a top laner, you have a few key options. You can be a split pusher who plays Trinimer or Fiora and aim to provide pressure for your team and take towers. You can look to be a tank like Orn that looks to be an unstoppable force in team fights. You can even do a combination of both and pick a bruiser like Ribbon that can deal damage and displace enemies with their CC. In the jungle, you can carry with champions like Karthus by getting yourself ahead and using your lead to dominate fights. You can opt for a team or into playstyle and look to gank lanes and get objectives with a fully tank utility jungler like Nunu. There are even options to do a mix of everything like Ivern who supports his team or Nidalee who plays the counter jungle. Moving on to mid, you can look to play an assassin who can pick out enemy champions with damage potential like Zed or LeBlanc. You can opt for a control mage like Victor or Orianna so that you can create hazardous zones that the enemy has to play around. You can even look to impact the map by roaming with somebody like Uction or Twisted Fate. In the bot lane, you're able to play hyper carries that dominate fights with their high range of DPS like Jinx or Twitch. You can pick strong skirmishers like Samara or Lucian to help your team secure objectives and get early leads. There are even options to do something in between by picking utility champions like Ash to give your team the support that they need to carry. Speaking of supporting, your support mains out there have a ton of options as well. You can play to CC the enemy champions to be a frontline for your team with somebody like Nautilus or Leona. You can empower your allies and their damage by picking enchanters like Lulu or Janna. There's even the choice of taking the game into your own hands and becoming the carry by picking a high damage champion like Senna or Brandt. Overall, there are a ton of options for champions and roles, but the important part is knowing what your champion is meant to do. It's vital to your improvement to keep note on when your champion is strong, what they like to do, and how to fight with their kid. Be sure you pay attention to your games and study higher ranking players if you're feeling a bit lost. 
Taking us into our gold rank, we got the mistake of not prioritizing CS and wave management. At this point in your rank journey, you likely build up your fundamentals and have a decent understanding of the game as a whole. But a lot of players get stuck here and often lose games early due to poor wave management and missing a lot of free farm. CS as a whole is one of the most important aspects of the game. These little minions are what drive your power spikes and allow you to have more impact on the game than your enemy does. They not only provide you with gold for items, but they also give you experience or free stats as you level up. Being able to see us during the laning phase is extremely important, and most players fail to realize just how impactful it can be. Missing a few minions per wave over the course of as little as 5 minutes can have you miss out on a kill's worth of gold. If the enemy doesn't miss out on those minions, you're automatically at a disadvantage. It's important to practice your CSing skills so you're not losing out on that free gold. Alongside this, most gold players fail to learn proper wave management. Having great wave management skills is essential to climbing the ladder. It'll not only increase your CS per minute, but it can also easily deny the enemy from farm when set up properly. Plus, you can learn to keep the wave near your turret to keep yourself safe and put the enemy in a dangerous position. While we can't cover the intricacies of wave management in this video, we do offer an updated guide for you to look at. You'll want to focus on the fundamentals of slow pushing waves, freezing, fast pushing, and learning why these are powerful tools. Before moving forward, let's not forget about our favorite pro guide tradition. Today we want to ask you all, what's your biggest obstacle during the early stages of your rank journey? Regardless of what your answers may be, let us know in the comment section down below what your favorite is and why. Nonetheless, let's dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video, we've got a big mistake in Platinum of trying to be the hero every game. At this point, you're approaching the higher ranks of the game, and for a few players, it gets to their heads. Ranking up often means that you need to play selfish and carry every game yourself. This mindset is fine and can lead you and your team to victory in many cases. That being said, sometimes you really need to sit back and let your allies win the game for you. Part of winning games is being able to be carried. Time and time again, we've seen Plat players throw games away because they're trying too hard to be the star of the show. If your allies have a massive lead and are carrying the game, there's no reason to make it harder on them. Learn to understand when you need to get carried and do your best to make it easier. Avoid fighting for no reason, avoid dying if possible, and play with your team so they can use your lead properly. We're not saying every game is on your allies to win, but sometimes you need to just let them put you on their back and carry you to victory. Moving on to our diamond players, we often see that they make the mistake of spreading themselves too thin. Once you reach diamond, you're amongst the top players in your region and have often worked hard to get there. That being said, a lot of these players try too hard to grow in too many areas at once. They often try to have a master champion ocean, perfect wave management, perfect macro, clean mechanics, and new strategies. While these are great topics to focus on as you grow and learn, these players try to take all of these in at once. When you're at this level of play, you're already good at the game and just need to take time mastering these topics one at a time. Limit your champion pool so you can master your matchups and mechanics. Focus on your wave management and CS so you can flawlessly execute them. Practice high level macro play by keeping your rotations in mind and questioning why players move a certain way. Tackle these important subjects one at a time and you will climb in no time. Taking us into our master tier, we've got the one big mistake of being too overconfident. At this point, you're one of the top players in your region and have proven that you can improve and carry games. Similar to the Platinum mistake, players and masters are overconfident with their play. This often leads to them taking risky plays and forcing fights for no reason other than attempting to get themselves ahead. At this point in your ranked journey, you can play with your allies as a team. While you should always try to be a carry, work with your allies to win the game. Communicate with them what the next play should be and what to play around. It's fine if you're the hero or if you're getting carried, but don't lose your team the game because you're overconfident and don't trust them. Put a little faith in your allies and they'll put a little faith in you. I know, up until this point you can't really trust your allies, but now is the time. Together, you all win the game or go out fighting in the process. Before we continue on to the end of the video, climbing can be hard and sometimes you'll need some help or someone to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that loves lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So, what are you waiting for? Join us! Last but certainly not least, we've got the issue with Grandmaster and above. This mistake plagues a lot of high-ranking players and it is their failure to adapt and improve. Most players reach these high ranks and are satisfied with their play. This leads them to sit at the exact same LP or worse, having them demote. Even Doba confirms that he was no better than some of the best players in the world. The difference between him and them was never a matter of skill. Instead, it was a matter of dedication and adaptability. Doba continuously adapted to the meta and built new concepts for himself to climb. Those that he held on on pedestal used their same strategies and eventually couldn't keep up. Make sure if you're in these ranks that you continue to take information and learn new strategies. And if you're in this rank, come on, hit us up and be a coach at Pro Guides. Anyway, the game is going to continue to get more accessible as information becomes easier to access. You either adapt and learn new strategies to stay at the top, or you'll get left in the dust as a new wave of high-ranking players surpass you. And that sums up our video for today. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides family at ProGuides.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you won't catch anywhere else, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys back in the next video, and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.